Welcome back to Basman and Jarens. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hi guys and welcome back to Basman and Jarens. Now sticking with the part of our title Jarens, today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming series of The Mandalorian. It's its first series, my first time watching it as a regular viewer and yes, Jaden and Grogu are back for more shenanigans and adventures and I thought we, well I would talk about the latest news and updates and the trailer of course um, as an update and I might do one before it airs on, I'm not sure but I'll see what I can do but this is the start and I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. The thing that really excites me is going to be Din and Grogu. I am so excited to see them back. The trailer just has me hyped and buzzed for them. And there's just something about this unique duo that works. I've always loved them since I started getting to the show this year. And I just think that I'm glad that they get another chance together and more to explore this fabulous teamwork and family bond because these two are one of my favourites. Bo-Katan Chris, What can I say? What can I say about the girl? Living legend. Love her. I'm excited to see more of her. I've been listening to this theme she has on YouTube and I can tell you something. It's got me buzzing for her return. I want to see more of Kelly Self do her best and show the world Bo-Katan. Kelly is a talent. She has done so well so far. I'm excited to see where she can go next. The directors are so amazing in this show. Returning is Taki Watita, Carl Weathers, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Rick Famia, who will be also extra producing. So this is a really good thing. I'm excited to see who else is going to direct because out of them all, they've all really directed great episodes past, and I can't wait to see what they do next. Especially with Carl Weathers, who is coming back as Grief Cargo. He's going to be a legend, and I just can't wait. And plus, could Taki Wichita be back as a certain spoiler? I don't know, I can't wait! This is going to be amazing, not only for them, but also for, for Bryce and Rick doing their thing as well. So, the directors are going to give us a great story. The trailer is one of the most beautiful and outstanding pieces of promotion that I've seen in the whole Star Wars franchise. I love the whole Grogu and Dimbits, but also Bo Katan and Armour have just been badass, and I like that. Uh, also, Grief and also New Threats, and of course, Le Pushing, Dr. Pushing, legend. But there's more to come, and yes, it just feels more like an adventure, and I feel like they're seven away from the approaches they did for the first two series and they're focusing on making it different which I love because I personally hope that the series will be a lot more different and more adventurous than sticking with the same plot of protecting the child and focusing on Grogu being more powerful but also trying to control his powers to avoid him getting captured which we have seen happen in the first two series but it's perfect character development so bring it on I want to talk about Jin Carlos Petito's new costume in Series 3. Uh, it says we've learned that in Season 3, Moff Gideon will have new armour and a new helmet. The helmet will be black with red eyes and horns in it. The horns will be six, similar to what Darth Maul has. It will resemble a Mandalorian helmet, but it won't be exactly as the same as the Mandalorian helmets we've seen. It will look closer to Boba Fett's helmet, but it will be sh- it will be black shiny and very sleek. It'll also be a bit bigger than the rest. Gideon is getting a full upgrade as he'll also have a black and red jetpack. Now I think this is a big thing for Jakarlo because Moth's always been seen without a mask but what they've done is especially incredible. They've kept the black and red themes from his original of it and they've incorporated into his mask and jetpack which I think will help him a lot more. Do I think it will make him even scarier? Definitely. 
But Jen Cole's performance won't, and that's what makes me really excited to see what he can do because I think he's been one of the strongest villains in the series, and I'm excited to see what happens next one because I definitely think Moff Goon will be wanting to do better than he has ever done before because he wants to win. I think Pedro Pascal is going to bring something different along with his extras. Because we're going to see a new side to Mando as he is going to lead the Mandalorians. And at the moment, he is kind of reluctant, as Pedro has said in the interviews. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do and how he grows and how he accepts it. Because Din has always just been the dad to Grogu. He's just the dad. And he's also been a lone bounty hunter. But he was successful in stopping the hills on Navarro. So, and managed to save his friends in need as well, which is a huge scene. So I think seeing Din leave will be very interesting because from what I've seen, I think there's going to be something spectacular with Din's characterization. The crew confirmed at the Brazil Comic Con that the Mandalorian will turn on the 1st of March. This will be eight episodes as it's usually so it's eight episodes of fun, which will be obviously talking about Jin's attempt to lead Mandalore. Also, there's been rumours of a promo picture coming soon, but also, Kyle Katurn on Twitter has pointed out we could be getting a new trailer on Christmas Day, which is the 25th of December. So it's a lot to be excited for. Yes, it's still three months away, but I'm so happy that I'm getting a lot hyped and I'm just really excited for what's to come. I'm just excited for all the characters appearing like uh, Bo-Katan, Jin Grogu, of course, Grief Karga, Moff Gideon, P9 Mato, the little kid from the ship from the Book of Earth, who I think is such an adorable thing. I'm excited to see him. Also, a Babu Freak. Well, not Babu Freak, but someone that looks like Babu Freak. So it's really nice to see Babu. Hey! hey! Legend. Um, and... Yeah, there's so many great characters coming in and I'm just excited for the show to start. My next episode, of course, will be the last of 2022. But don't worry, I'm finishing off with something amazing. So, I've decided that I will talk about my highlights from Doctor Who and Star Wars and give my thoughts on what's been going on and just my into something fun and I'm very casual for you guys to enjoy. So, that's coming up. I hope you enjoyed my Mandalorian episode. I'm going to do another one regarding Series 3 near the time of broadcast. And I've also got some surprises on the way regarding 5 minute reviews. So please, you do not want to miss any of that. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye everyone. Subscribe to Fasman Jarrods and stay tuned for more podcasts. See ya!